Welcome to another Fantasy Goodfellows video where we talk about the top 15 tight end rankings for week 10. Richard, you ready? I'm ready. The Fantasy Goodfellows. Boom, boom, boom. Hey. Oh, on the field. Good All right, before we get started, Richard, tell me how we did on last week's rankings. Okay, if we take out Mark Andrews, who did not play, we hit on seven of our 14 tight ends, which is okay. Uh, we, we just came off a great week. This week was all right. We hope to, to come back strong in week 10. All right, if you haven't seen our videos before, Richard's going to give his rankings. I'm going to use our stat machine to see if you agree or disagree with each of his rankings. And hopefully this video helps you with your own lineups. All right, Richard, line them up. All right, first things first, on buys. Baltimore, Cincinnati, New England, and the Jets. And number one, Travis Kelsey, home against Jacksonville. He's still the king of tight ends, especially with Mark Andrews on a buy and injured. And number two, George Kittle, home against the LA Chargers. This is a decent matchup for Kittle, and he's starting to show signs of life. And number three, Zach Ertz at LA Rams. Zach Ertz has looked great. Kyler Murray is looking for him. And he's showing why at one point on the tight in the in the tight end landscape, he was regarded as one of the better tight ends. And number four, Dallas Goddard, home against Washington. Had a great week nine, putting up decent numbers. Let's see if the momentum keeps coming. And number five, TJ Hawkinson at Buffalo. It looks like TJ Hawkinson is in a better situation. Kirk Cousins definitely looking his way. I think he's going to start having big weeks. And this week, Minnesota has to keep up with Buffalo. If Josh Allen plays, let's assume he does. And hold, on, six, hold on. The thing I like about Hawkinson, he had nine receptions on nine targets in a new offense. That's got to bode really well. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. He should have had major role in that Detroit offense as well, but it was sporadic. I think it's going to be a lot more consistent with Minnesota. And number six, Gerald Everett, home against the LA Chargers. The Chargers are having their issues issues on offense. Mike Williams is out. Keenan Allen's been hurt. Even if he plays, he's not going to be 100%. So that makes Gerald Everett a more important piece of that puzzle. And the question then becomes Justin Herbert. Is he 100%? What's going on? And number seven, Taysom Hill at Pittsburgh. Taysom Hill put up a goose egg for many in standard leagues this week. But still, he's always a threat to, to pass for a touchdown, run for a touchdown, catch for a touchdown. So for that reason, because of his versatility and because of the, the off chance that he could actually be the quarterback on that team, I always rank him and I like him a lot. But this week, he hurt his own. And number eight, Dalton Schultz at Green Bay. Dalton Schultz, he looks like he's healing up, starting to be 100%. Dak Prescott is back. Dak loves Dalton. It's all good. And number nine, Pat Fryermuth, home against New Orleans. He has been a steady presence. Again, rookie quarterback. Safety blanket is a tight end. So he's been steady. Pickett doesn't look great, but Fryermuth will get his. And number 10, Kyle Pitts at Carolina. We know Kyle Pitts and his struggles. They mainly come from Mariota not being a passing quarterback. That and maybe Kyle Pitts isn't as good as everybody thought he was, but it's a good matchup. We hope he catches one touchdown this week. And number 11, David and Joku at Miami. And Joku wants to play. If he does, Brissett's going to have to keep up with the Dolphins and the high powered offense. So Njoku could have a decent game. And number 12, Mike Gizicki, home against Cleveland. Gizicki seems to score every other game, so he's due this week. And number 13, Greg Dolchich at Tennessee. He's emerging as uh, Denver's uh, tight end. We'll see how much Russell Wilson looks his way this week. And number 14, Noah Fan at Tampa Bay. Noah Fan just had a big week nine. Let's see if Geno Smith keeps looking his way. And number 15, Tyler Higby, home against Arizona. And we talked about Tyler Higby recently, in recent weeks. If you look at his numbers from last year, the year before, there were nothing to, to write home about. This year, everybody loved him and 
you know, I hear people saying, oh, he's going to be a top five tight end. No, I was always not on that bandwagon. And as we've seen the last couple of weeks, not very good. The whole offense is struggling, but he barely hangs on. All right, before we get out of here, let's just compare your rankings to some other rankings and see if we can uh, answer any questions. Uh, Taysom Hill, you, you keep on ranking him. Some other rankings don't even have him in here. I know you're high on him. What gives? I'm high on him. If you look at his numbers, he scored a touchdown more often than not. And again, the, on that off chance that at some point they're just like, all right, no, we're running the offense through Taysom Hill and he gets a, he gets a lot more snaps than he normally does. He'll, he'll put up he'll put up big numbers as he did what was it, week three, week four, when he scored those uh, 44, 45 fantasy points. Like, when do you get that from a tight end? So he really is a swing for the fences pick, but I really like him. All right, another one. You got Mike Gazicki ranked 12th. Some other rankings don't even have him. And if you look back, you'll see that he only reached the top 15 on some rankings three times out of out of the whole season. Thoughts? Yeah, yeah, but it's it's happening more often in recent weeks. He's scoring touchdowns. I mean, he had the he had the game against Detroit, had the game against Minnesota. He he's he's starting to show some signs of life. Um, and he is, he's a, he's a, he's a great, he's a wide receiver in the tight end position. He can make plays. He just doesn't block well. And of course that irks Mike McDaniel, but Kazeki's a playmaker, especially in this landscape, especially in, in, in this position where you don't have that many guys like Kazeki. I like him. I like him. And he's in a great offense. All right. Well, thanks for coming on here and sharing your top 15 tight end rankings for week 15. Don't forget to like, and subscribe. Richard, any parting words? You get what you give. Love your team. Go fantasy good fellas. Boom, boom, boom. Hey. Ah. Rolling on the field. Hey. 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 Go fantasy good fellas.